More advertisers are distancing themselves from Bill O'Reilly. So far, nearly 50 sponsors have pulled their spots from his Fox News show after multiple sexual harassment claims against him emerged. Boston-based Wayfair and Waltham's Constant Contact are joining that growing list. And in the past, we've seen that pressure from advertisers has brought about change, but will it in this case? John Keller's here tonight with a closer look at that. John? Yeah, Paula, Liam, both Fox News and O'Reilly have had their brands tarnished by harassment cases in recent years, or have they? O'Reilly's ratings are booming, and while dozens of advertisers have fled, as you mentioned, some, like the home improvement website Angie's List, are staying put. And with President Trump and Nancy Pelosi now weighing in, this whole thing's turning into a public test of just how damaging sexual harassment really is. Caution, you are about to enter the no-spin zone. For O'Reilly, it was almost business as usual. A New York Times report recounting $13 million in Fox News settlements with five women who've charged him with sexual harassment or other inappropriate behavior. And now, the story has become a national political football, with the president telling the Times O'Reilly is a good person, adding, I don't think Bill did anything wrong. Back in the book segment tonight, what the heck just happened? O'REILLY CLAIMS HE'S A SHAKEDOWN VICTIM, BUT AN ADVERTISER PROTEST OF SORTS HAS BROKEN OUT, WITH DOZENS OF COMPANIES PULLING THEIR ADS OFF O'REILLY'S SHOW FOR NOW, BUT NOT NECESSARILY OFF THE NETWORK. THE OLD CLICHE IS THERE'S NO SUCH THING AS BAD PUBLICITY. IS THAT STILL TRUE? I DON'T THINK THAT'S EVER BEEN TRUE. I THINK THIS IS NOT THE KIND OF HEADLINES THAT FOX NEWS WANTS TO BE MAKING. BUT ASHLEY McCown OF BOSTON PR FIRM SOLOMON McCown NOTES O'REILLY BRINGS IN HUGE RATINGS AND DOLLARS FOR FOX AND SEES THIS EPISODE Episode as a measure of whether money still talks louder than protest. I think in an environment where more and more people, customers, investors care about where they put their money, they want to put money in a company they believe in and that shares values, we may be starting to move the needle in a different direction. And that's why the outcome here may be telling about where we stand as a culture when it comes to sexual harassment. Just as many Democrats overlooked Bill Clinton's horrible behavior in the 90s, candidate Trump won last year despite his issues. If this flap winds up being more about politics and money than ethics or morality, the O'Reilly factor isn't going anywhere. Paula, Liam.